Hi, I'm Andreas Moss, and I'm here in the Sutter Home Vibe and Vine Green Room. So I love Napa. I love being here. It's such an incredible environment. I live in Nashville, and if you do a show there, people maybe will give you a golf clap. And so it's, it's really cool that people are so receptive emotionally to music, and they come up to you afterwards. And then obviously they're drinking wine, so they're a little bit more happy than usual. Um, so it's, it's great. It's a great environment. If I could have a glass of wine with any artist, dead or living. Um, honestly, this is going to sound so cliche, I, but I would love to sit down with like Beethoven honestly, and just be like, how, how did this, how, how did you do this? Back then, the complexity of music that was created is unbelievable, and that's what's created so much of the sound that's here now. I'm from Sweden, so I think, and in Sweden we have a lot of gospel music, and so I kind of grew up on a lot of gospel, and I've always been very much of a top 40 person, so I've always listened to a lot of really actually strong female vocalists. So um, when I was growing up, I loved Destiny's Child and Beyonce, and so kind of mixing the gospel with the pop has kind of become my, my vibe and my sound. So I, I started performing with my family uh, at nine years old and we, we traveled around and we did about five shows a week all growing up. We would sing in churches, we would sing in clubs and bars and all different types of places and we would just just sing as a family, all six of us. <laughs> One of my main, actually, jobs in, in my career is, is writing for other artists. So songwriting has been a, a huge part of my life for a really, really long time. It's a very different process. Writing for myself, um, I, I just try to be as honest as possible with what's going on. And what I love about being an artist is you meet all these different people and you get to hear their story. And as an artist, you can sometimes tell stories from their perspective as well. I like hearing other people's stories, and I think that that forms my own story in a really good way. Because the more that I think we learn about other people and the more we can break down barriers barriers of not knowing other people and their stories. I think the more knowledge we can get and the more we can grow as human beings. That's what's so cool about music is that you can, you can transfer emotion in, in a really, really cool way and talk about really hard issues and people have an easier time listening to it because it's melodic or it's in, in some type of music and I think it's such a powerful source to do that with.